Hello. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, good evening. How are you today? <laughs> good evening. Running again, running. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know. We're on time, but we're on time. Okay, uh, we're running too. Uh, I sent the, the image. Did you see it? Yes, of course. Now it's much better than yesterday. It, yes, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better than yesterday. It's really clear. Yeah. And Yes, it is important to have that vocabulary handy because we will continue describing people today. Okay. What's your favorite famous person? Me? Yes. My favorite famous person is, let's see, um, Jesus. <laughs> okay, nice. What about you, Marjorie? What's your favorite famous person? Uh, I don't know. No favorite? Uh, Maybe an actor or an actress. No. I like a, I, I like a, a watch a movie, but but I I don't I don't know. You don't have a favorite actor or actress. Okay, what about you, Jerry? Who's your favorite famous person? My favorite person is my mother. Oh, okay. Can you describe? Um, she's uh, very tall and uh, is she's gorgeous. And, ¿cómo se dice atenta? And which oh, atenta. sense? Uh, it, it's, she's very attent. And, mm -hmm. and a good mom. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Uh, she has, uh, she have a, uh, long blow hair. Tiene el cabello rubio. Okay, nice. Very yes. good. <laughs> okay, so um, we did a very nice job here with you guys to start the class. So we're going to um, use as much vocabulary as we can in order to describe people with, um, I resent the, the image from yesterday's exercise, so you can have that vocabulary handy. And as you can see, I have one example here. Um, have you heard about this lady before? Oprah Winfrey. Okay, yeah, Oprah Winfrey is an American talk show host, television producer, actress, and author. She is in her late 70s, Ooh. and she looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah. She has shoulder-length black hair. She has full lips mm -hmm. and light eyes, okay? So, as you can see, como pueden ver, mucho de este vocabulario está en la imagen que les mandé por WhatsApp. What we're going to do, well, esa es la misma imagen que está en la presentación de ayer, pero mucho más clara. <laughs> eh, so, using that vocabulary, I would like for you to describe this famous comic actor. You will describe Adam Sandler. I'll give you some minutes for you to write a short description about this actor. Use the vocabulary that you have. Okay, I'll give you three minutes.
Okay, let's listen to some volunteers. What do you have? Volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Sandra, thank you. Okay. Adam Sandler is a comic actor. He has mustache and a, and a bird. He has fair black wavy hair. His fair skin, his, he has small brown eyes. Okay, excellent. Very good description. Anybody else who would like to add more or have something different? My is uh, Okay, Janet. Mm -hmm. Adam he has a dark chair, has mustache and beard. He's made on top. Uh, your nose is large, your skin light. Okay, excellent. Very good. Meet the chair. Thank you. Okay, Joaquin. Adam Sander is an excellent, an excellent actor. He has a curly hair and mustache. He looks seen 40 years old. He has several great movies. Okay, excellent. Well done. Very good job, Joaquin. Anybody else? Anybody else who has something similar, a little different? We have heard two different descriptions. Very good, all of them. Anybody Can else? Yes, Can I? Sure. Okay. Um, actually, he is one of my favorite actors um, because he is really humble. Um, I've been reading that he likes to share his stuff like money. Also, he likes to give some gift to uh, his friends. I would like to be one of uh, his friends. And um, that's something that I like from him, besides all the things like he's funny. I really love his movies. Uh, I like it. He's not like um, any other actor. He's like, you, uh, if uh, you saw him, it's like, hello, how are you? Like any other person. That's something that I really like from him. Yes, that's for sure. Nice, nice. Thank you so much, Arely. And he's my favorite actor too. Uh, I love him. And I, ha uh, I love Will Smith as well. He's mm -hmm. very humble too. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Me. Okay, Evelyn. So, uh, Adam Sandra is an uh, excellent actor. My favorite movie is Como Si Fuera La Primera Vez. So, um, he looked uh, around 70, 75 <laughs> because he looked like very old. <laughs> So for me, it's an excellent actor. I I saw the he su altura. I don't remember. How do you then, say altura or estatura? Height. Height. Yes. Height. Okay. okay. I think so. He he have height uh, around one meter one. 1.75 centimetro. <laughs> centimeters. I don't know how do you say centimeter. centimeters. 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 Centi centimeters. Uh, centimeters. And that's it. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Yeah, so you see, there are many, many ways to describe a person using all the different vocabulary that we have. The, the important thing is to put it in practice. So, because at the moment that we want to describe someone, it's like, oh, what can I say? So that's why you have a lot of vocabulary in this little chart that you can use. And you can practice describing your favorite person. Uh, okay, so let's continue. We have another video. It's just about describing people. 
So let me share my screen so we can watch that video and do a little bit more of exercise about it. Let's see. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Let me share it. Okay. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, this is what we saw in the video. Well, that's um, the questions that we can ask in order to get some details. Uh, for example, for a general appearance, we can ask the question, what does she look like, for example, or what does he look like? with the pen, right? She's tall yes. with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does she wear glasses? Yes. And he has a beard. So it's like kind of um, you're asking for a specific information. Now, these two questions, um, it's, basic, it's the same question. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. In this case, is when you don't know exactly the age of the person. You can answer in this way. She's about 32. And according to the chart, uh, we could say she's in her early 30s, right? Or simple, she's in her 30s. If you know the exact age of a person, you can give it a number. He's in his 20s or um, he's 22. Like for example, there are different ways that you can answer this question. Now to talk about height, we have how tall. This is the question, how tall? And then we add, right? Depending on the subject, how tall is she or how tall is he? And then we provide the information. You can be specific, like in this case, if she is 1 meter 88. Or you can just provide an idea is in expression, like he's pretty short, he's really tall, or etc. About hair, how long? We can um, ask for the length of the hair, right? using the question or how long uh, to ask about the color well the question is pretty easy what color is his hair and then we provide details is there any questions so far mm. how how tall is she can you repeat again how tall uh -huh. how, how tall, tall? Mm -hmm. Okay. What 
anything in them beer? Barba. Barba, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, based on what we saw here in this chart, we are going to write the questions to match these statements. For example, here it says, my brother is 26. Oh, what can be the question here? How old, oh, is, he? How old is he? Another possibility, how old oh, is your brother? Mm -hmm. So we have two possibilities here in number one. Mm -hmm. I'll give you time for you to write the questions.
have you finished? Yes, madam. Okay, so we're going to check your answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, number one was done, right? Um, we asked how old is your brother or how old is he? Uh, volunteer for number two? Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, I heard Anna Yancy. How tall are you? Yes, that's the answer. Well, the question, <laughs> how tall are you? Excellent. Um, number three, volunteer. Sure. Okay, Joanna. What color is her, your mother? What color is? Her, your mother. Uh, the, the last two words, we have to change it. Okay. Let me see my daughter. Mother's okay. hair. Uh -huh. Mother's hair. Excellent. Uh, yes, that is a possibility. What color is your mother's hair? Or another possibility? What does she look like? She. Mm -hmm. Now that is kind of complicated. It's very long. What color hair does your mother have? All right. Good. Uh, number four. Number four. He wear glasses. Me, me teacher. Okay, Joaquin. Does she wear glasses? Does she wear glasses? Very good. Thank you so much. That's it. Uh, number five. I teacher. Okay, Sandra. What does she does he look like? Okay, excellent. That is the answer. What does he look like? Uh what about number six? Me teacher. Marjorie? How long is your sister hair? Yes, excellent. How long is your sister's hair? Uh, good. Number seven. Hi, teacher. Stephanie? Hi, teacher. Wait a minute. Please. I'm looking for the presentation. And the last one is... Um, how do you look like? Or... Not exactly. Anybody else? Someone who would like to help Stephanie? Number seven? What do you have for number seven? What color is your A? Are you your eyes? Are your hair? Okay, what color are your eyes? Okay, so those were the questions. Let's double check here the answers. Okay, here we have them. Okay, let's practice the question. Let us repeat. How old is your brother? How old, How old is, is your brother? brother? How tall are you? Tall. How tall are you? What color is your mother's hair? What color is your mother's hair? What color is your mother's hair? What color hair does your mother have? What color hair does your mother have? What color hair does your mother have? Does she wear glasses? Does she wear glasses? What does she, what does he look like? What does he look like? What does he look like? What does he... How long is your sister's hair? How long, How long is your sister's, sister's hair? hair? What color are your eyes? What, what color, color are, are your eyes? eyes? What color eyes do you have? What, what, what color, color eyes do you have? Eyes do you have? Okay, we're going to ask and answer these questions 
with our own information, but we're going to change the number five. Uh, like here, we are talking about um, your mother's, right? What color is your mother's hair? Does she wear glasses? What does she look like? Aquí vamos a dar continuación con she. What does she look like? Yeah, those three questions related to your mother. Whenever you're ready, and I'm going to create the section groups so you can practice asking and answering these questions with your classmates. When you able to enter the room?
good person and funny? Um, and how does she look like? <laughs> the appearance. Uh, she looks like uh, in her she tall? She's a uh, medium high. And only that. <laughs> Georgia. Okay, next one. Uh, Stephanie, I, I, I have a question for you. Okay, okay. Uh, what color is your mother's hair, uh, Stephanie? She has a um, black hair. Hair, okay, so good. Uh, does she wear glasses? No, she doesn't. Uh, number five, what does, she, what, what does she look like or what does he look like? She looks like uh, she's um, medium height. She has a uh, dark eyes. Okay. Um, One more. She's pretty. She's pretty. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how long? How long is your sister hair? Oh no. How long is your mother's hair? Okay. She has short hair. Okay. okay. And what the color? Oh, what the color? What color? What color are your? Car. Are uh, what color are your mother eyes? She has dark eyes. Okay. So cool. Very well. Or brown eyes. Brown eyes. The color miel, la, uh, teacher. Well, Honey. what do you say? The color uh, miel. Honey. Honey. Honey, ah, okay. My mother is the eyes, your, the color eyes of my mother is honey. That's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can say that it's like honey color honey or color. light brown. Light brown. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Another participant, please. Roberto Adonai. Okay. <laughs> Is uh, Stephanie? Uh -huh. Did you ask me? Um, do you want? Uh, well, Did you uh, ask, me, please? Ah, okay. Uh, what color is your mother hair? My mother hair is white. Hair. It's white. It's white. Okay. Does she wear glasses? No, she does. What does she look like? Um, she, she is um, short, uh, short and medium height. Okay. Time is over. The time is over. Um, let's see, I guess that everybody is here again. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. I'm Paul. Yes, Paul. Jerry me hizo una pregunta. 
Jerry me hizo una pregunta donde me pregunté, este, donde me decía, what color is your father eyes? Y para responderle eh, sería, ¿cómo sería, teacher? What color are your father's eyes? Ay, ajá. Uh -huh. My uh, father's eyes are brown. Are brown, yes. Or you can say my father has brown eyes. Ah, ok. Apenas andaba muy perdido. <laughs> How did you? Okay, so I, it's, there's two maneras puede decir my father's eyes are color, y ya especifican el color, verdad? De qué color son los ojos de del papá? O si no, my father has a brown eyes, for example. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Ay, uh, no, este clima. Okay, I'm going to check attendance before we move on because the next exercise is a conversation. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ello va de darle a la cámara y al micrófono para apagarlo por si me tocaba estornudar y menos mal que se me fue. Está lentísimo. Y huele a que va a llover, así es que no quiero que vuelva a pasar. Que me quede sin pasar asistencia porque después es un lío. Ok, it's Tuesday. It's running here. Really, aquí está así como que abrisita rica que quisiera que fuera eterna, pero no quiero que llueva y me dé problemas. Ok, Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ok, Ana Yancy. I'm here, teacher. Candida Yanet. Present, teacher. Cecilia Elizabeth. I'm here. Claudia Patricia. Claudia Patricia. ¿Será que no está Claudia Patricia? Diego Arturo. Diego Arturo. Parece que no está. Evelyn Elizabeth. Evelyn Elizabeth. Mm. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Present. Jerry Alejandro. Present teacher. Joana Celina. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Joaquin Ramirez. Present, teacher. Okay, Jonathan Isaac. I'm here. Jorge Alberto. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, uh, Jose Manuel. Sir. Judy del Carmen. Present, teacher. Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. Okay. María Susena. Present teacher. Marjorie Vanessa. Melida Rebeca. Present. Oscar René. Present teacher. Areli Guevara. I'm here. Roberto Adonai. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Romulo Edgardo. Here, teacher. Sandra Araceli. Present teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present. And Jessica Areli. Present. 
Okay. Thank you so much. Right. It's like three people missing, but si los mencioné a todos o hay alguien que se me ha quedado. Todos, todos. Okay, so we're going to continue. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Sí. Fíjese que ahora fui a retirar los diplomas de los de las cursos ya ya hecho, va. Este, pero yo pienso que ya el otro mes ya no voy a poder cursar el el, el módulo. Entonces, por cuestiones de trabajo. Y, en, y no sé si hasta el otro año voy a poder retomarlo este, del mismo punto donde me quedé. No sé si se puede. Sí, sí se puede. Normalmente se solamente presenta los comprobantes, los certificados de, de los módulos que ya hizo. ¿Y tendría que ir a las oficinas? Eh, o los puede escanear o mandárselos. Uh -huh. Siempre por el mismo correo. y Sí, sí. Pero si en ese momento no están los, los cursos, en, o sea, los módulos. Eh, tendría, lo dejarían pendiente a que abra algún grupo de, de, del módulo en el que se quedó. Porque, ah, okay. bueno, por ejemplo, ahorita estos son los únicos, los más avanzados, es el de ustedes. Uh -huh. Ya no hay otro. Hay básicos sí, porque... repetidos y entonces entre más avanzados van son menos los grupos. Ya es que yo pienso que ya el otro mes ya no voy a poder entonces inscribirme por, por cuestión del trabajo ya no me va a permitir. Entonces tenía esa duda. Ok. O pregunte, tal vez le ofrezcan algo otra opción de horario y si no, pues este se quedaría pendiente. Pero sí okay. pueden, eh, pueden darle continuidad. Desde continuidad. Donde se quedó. Ok, muchas gracias, Ticha. Miss. Sí. Fíjese de que yo me perdí, no he dado dónde, dónde están las oficinas por eso no he ido a, no sé si alguien me puede dar una referencia así a los salvadoreños Don Oscar trabaja por ahí yo soy mala dando direcciones <risa> ok eh, como no, vamos a ver si ¿se escucha Evelyn? sí, sí, sí bueno mira, puedes hacer como dos, dos cosas uno eh, si vienes por la Jerusalén, llegas hasta el redondel que le llaman Luceiros y sí. luego bajas alrededor de cuatro cuadras. En una esquina de esas cuatro cuadras hay un restaurante de comida italiana. Eso es como que el mejor la referencia. Bajas cuatro cuadras del, re, del redondel Luceiros, bajas cuatro cuadras y a mano derecha, exactamente, después de la encontrarás en la esquina un restaurante de comida italiana. A media cuadra está eh, eh, inglés corporativo. A media cuadra de ese restaurante de comida italiana. Sí, eso, es creo... vini... eso es viniendo, eso es viniendo por Redondel Luceiros, que creo que, no sé de dónde tú te diriges, creo que es la primera pregunta. ¿De dónde vienes? ¿De qué sector? ¿De qué sector nada más? Del escalón. Ay, Ahí está entonces... mi hermana, entonces ella me lo va a ir a reclamar y ella se perdió, entonces, pero está fácil, como es la misma zona, ¿verdad? Sí, está sí. sumamente sencillo, bajas cuatro cuadras del redondel Luceiros, te viene siempre, si vienes de Luceiros, esa mano derecha, viene caminando o en lo que sea que venga, en bus o en microbús o lo que sea, este, baja y hay cuatro cuadras, cuentas cuatro cuadras, Al, eh, vas a encontrar una esquina en donde está un un eh, restaurante de comida italiana y enfrente le queda un gran montón de edificios, un edificio y un montón de apartamentos. En esa calle que se meta, eh, camina cua media cuadra, enfrente al lado izquierdo queda eso, ya en esa calle, ¿verdad? Que es ya bien. fuera ese rótulo de ingreso. No, no, para... no, no tiene rótulo, solo llegue a la esquina del restaurante, se llama Pizzería El Rosal, creo, o Restaurante El Rosal. El Cabal en esa esquina se mete esa callecita para adentro. Está a la parte de una clínica dental. Hay una sí, cosa no. de dientes ahí. Uh -huh. Hay un portón. No, perdón, que me interrumpa. Uh -huh. este, bueno, al menos una forma como, como yo me ubiqué es, es con Google Maps. ¿Puedo mandarles el, 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 el link? 
para que se ubiquen. Pero no. por favor. Ajá. Ajá, porque ajá. no costó mucho, la verdad, o sea, porque sí. un punto de, 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 de referencia es el que decía Oscar, sino también en la esquina opuesta de ese restaurante hay un hotel, que se me ha ido el nombre, la verdad, tal vez Oscar pueda recordar. Era el Radisson, hoy se llama Crown Plaza. Crown Plaza. Mm. Okay. Ah, pues ese. Entonces, ajá, está el Crown Plaza, está el restaurante, y en esa calle de restaurante para adentro, a unos dos o tres casas de esta iglesia ¿Sí? corporativa. But nowadays, but nowadays, the most impor lo, lo más importante es que te manden esa cosa. ¿Cómo, cómo dijiste, Jorge? El Google Maps. Ah, Google. Google. Es, la, ajá, es, es ajá. la ubicación. Ajá. Ah, pues, es lo una... manda, por favor. Eso es lo maravilloso, lo maravilloso de esta generación que manejan las redes y esas cosas tecnológicas, las TICs, mejor que, que cualquier viejito de nosotros. Adelante. Sí. Ok, so, ándenle con lo del certificado y también esténse pendientes. Con este grupo estamos súper bien. Es poquita la gente que va atrasada. Hoy estuve actualizando el, el, el file y es, es muy poca la gente que va um, un poquito atrás, de, pero deben de ponerse al día aprovechando la pausa, ¿verdad? Porque si no, este ya les van a empezar a mandar... Eh, a mensajear ya personalmente, ¿verdad? Ya no en general, sino que ya van a empezar a llamar a estas personas que van atrasito. Así es que para que no les estén interrumpiendo, ¿verdad? Porque yeah. a veces incluso me dicen, teacher, y ya me mandan el listado. <risa> yeah. Entonces, por favor, pongámonos al día. Ya son bien poquitos, solo nos falta esta semana y la otra y terminamos módulo. Ok, teacher, teacher. ¿Sí? Um, me dijeron a mí que la fecha límite para presentar documentos y todo lo que piden ellos para inscribirse al nuevo curso es el 7 de junio. Así es que andenle, muchachos. Ya estamos a primero de junio. Les quedan nada más seis días para entregar los documentos para que pues puedan darle continuidad a su... Eh, verdad al curso y créanme lo, 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 lo triste es que si se quedan muchos afuera y eh, los van a juntar con los demás porque solo hay dos grupos en este nivel uh -huh. entonces este ándenle para que para que no se queden cortos porque en, en eso es con suerte para que continúen los que sí lograron meter sus documentos cumplir los requisitos con suerte los unen con un grupo que haya igual pero si los grupos quedan muy reducidos, entonces se cierran los, los, los grupos y quedan a la espera de que se vuelvan a juntar lo, el mismo antes requerido. Y entonces ahí ya ustedes quedarían a medias, en pausa, se enfrían, se les olvida lo que han aprendido. Entonces, mejor anden, la verdad, ya que se sacrificaron hasta este punto, eh, a darle hasta terminar. Eh, ¿qué? ¿Cuál es el mínimo de participantes para que puedan crear un grupo? Fíjese de que ahorita estamos en 30, el máximo, el mínimo se maneja en, en 20, en la uh, presencial, pero virtual el mínimo es 25. Uh -huh. con, estamos bien nosotros, estamos bien con la asistencia, no se nos han caído más que un par de personas, pero si se caen más, entonces ya corremos riesgo, ¿verdad?, de que los unan al otro grupo o que, pues, lo se disuelva, ¿sí? entonces... Andémosle. Uh, I think that we still have time to practice the conversation, pero no les voy a poner el video porque está bien lento y se va a tardar un montón. Uh, ok. Uh, creo que no sé. Ok. Uh, right. uh, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Let's see this conversation. Yes. Which one is she? Which one is she? Which one okay, is she? we have a lot of ladies in this picture, right? The question according to the conversation is which one is she? Let's see if we find out. Let's repeat. Hi, Raul. Good to see Hi. you. Where's Maggie? Where's, where's, where's Maggie? 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 
Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, oh she couldn't make it. it. She, she went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone Julia, which one is she? Julia, Julia. Mm -hmm. is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. No, no she's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Me too. <laughs> All right. We have some interesting expressions here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have this one. She couldn't make it. ¿A qué se refiere esta expresión? She couldn't make it. Pudo estar acá. Es como, no pudo estar, ajá. No pudo yeah. lograrlo. No, pudo no lograr. lo logró, ajá. Cuando usted dice, ah, voy a llegar a clases o, y tuvo un atraso y ya no pudo llegar, ya no. Entonces, eh, um, she couldn't make it, I couldn't make it, etc. I couldn't make it. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, so is there any question about this vocabulary or pronunciation? Oh. Okay, if there are no questions, I'm going to create the group so you can okay. practice this conversation with your classmates. Let's recreate. I'm going to make them smaller. <laughs> Okay, let's join and practice.
I see everybody's back again. And well, time is done. Uh, it's over for now. So please complete the exercises that you need to. And if you need help, just don't be afraid and ask your classmates, asking the groups for help. And uh, see you tomorrow to continue practicing this. And probably we will start section number five. Okay. Okay. Thank see you tomorrow. Good good night. Night. Thank you. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye, teacher. Bless you too. Bye. Bye bye.